Hello, everyone. This is Akio Matsuoka, and I am a co author of The Essential Guide to Digital Jewelry Design. Today, I will show you a quick way to create a simple ring in Grasshopper using loft component. The step to take is a little different from Rhino Nerves modeling. In Grasshopper, in this example, we will create four surfaces and eventually join them together to create a closed poly surface. After the ring is done, turn on the control points and then we can manipulate it to create a different shape. Let's get started. First, we would need a circle to determine the inner diameter of the ring. Circle command, send of circle, zero, enter, Diameter is 16.51 for the size 6. Then we will rebuild this curve. Curve tool, rebuild curve, and then we will rebuild to still 8 point. It depending on how you want to manipulate the shape, but I will keep it simple as 8 and degree 3. Then OK. Then open up the glass hopper. Get the curve param, right click, set one curve. Here we go. Then determine the width of the ring. Go to the surface tab and get the extrude. I'm not showing the full name since it takes a lot of space. Don't forget the bifocal. Okay. So we will extrude this curve to the Y direction. I like to make a number slider, 5 less than 15.0. So this will be the width of the ring. OK. So this is the inner surface of this ring. So we will create the outer surface. I will get the another extrude and then extrude to the Y direction. Then two surfaces are here. So the one on the top needs to offset surface. Surface, offset, and offset the surface and the distance. I will create a number slider, 1.5 less than 3.0. Here we go. So this is offset. So we have a two surfaces, top and bottoms. Then we create a front and back ring surface. I'm going to get deconstruct prep another one. So what is a BREP? BREP is a geometry data type, a boundary representation of a 3D object. BREP stands for Boundary Representation Entity Primitive. So it is a way of representing a solid geometry by specifying the boundaries of the surface that makes up the solid. And then we will deconstruct this prep. So what is this construct? Deconstruct prep is a component that allows you to break down prep geometry into the individual part, such as vertices, edge, or faces. Then this can be useful if you need to manipulate the specific parts of the prep geometry. So we will connect this, and here is a, a face and edge. So we would need the edge. So I just created a helpful tool here. There are three surface edges. One is this side, two is the other side, and the three is surface seam. And I need to find out the least number of each edges. 
So how do we use this tool I just created? So I will connect this to the edge. So this is an offset, which is the surface outside. And then I will connect this point on curve. Then you see those list number, 0 and 1 and 2. It is kind of hard to see from the certain angle, so that's when this point on curve will come in handy. So when I move it, so that number going around on the edge, apparently 0 is the surface seam, and 1 is the edge, the other side of this surface. Then Control shift and then I switch the connection to surface inside. So I do the same thing, back and forth, and the same thing. The 1 is this side, and then 2 is the edge in the front. I get the list item, 4 of them. 1, and 2, 3, 4, and then make a number slider, 0 less than 2, create a 2 of them, and then connect the edge, the first one, and the third one and change the number slider to 1, this is going to go to the index. This second edge is uh, 2. This will connect to the surface inside. and then connect to the number slider. Then I need a loft component from the surface. So this one will create a surface between those two edges. one and two with a shift. So here we go. This surface, the other side is created. And here is the next one. Great. So this is a surface and set the front surface. Okay, I'm going to disable the preview of these tools. Lastly, we will do brip join. Grip join those surfaces with a shift and also top surface and bottom surface. One comes from the offset with a shift and the last one is this extrusion. Now I will get the panel. This is a tree and it doesn't create a closed prep. So we need to flatten and then it's a closed prep. I will put the display. With a color swatch. So now I turn on the control point and you can move the point that side and this one maybe the front side then you will see how the ring updates also you can change the 
width of the ring with this number slider. There is another way to approach this modeling. Instead of using list items to choose the particular edges, I can use cow index to choose the edges which we wanted to eliminate. So let's do that. Delete those list items. I will get cow index. List that we don't want is the zero, which is a surface seam. Connect number slider zero to induces. And then this edge goes to the list. Then I delete the one with the loft component. And we will loft those two cow index with the shift key. Then this cow index needs to be grafted. Okay, here we go. I hope you enjoyed today's exercise to find out more about Grasshopper. I offer Grasshopper training online time to time, so please check my website for the next schedule. If you like to see the certain modeling in Rhino and Grasshopper, please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching and see you all in the next video.